we're out testing the tyres, the uh, lovely new Enduro tyres. You do get an option of uh, two different tyres. You've got the Nobles and the Enduros. And when we bought the bikes, we we opted for the for the off-road Nobles. Yeah, using the off-road tyres on on the road to get to where you need to get was fine, but. Obviously, because they're nobles, the roads just chew them up. In one of the previous videos, we did the, um, the the big hill challenge, if you remember. Me and Mr. Flea made it up. Chewy never made it. So we're going to see if we can get up the hill with these enduro tyres on. See how they perform off road. Because on the road so far, they feel they feel brilliant. On the bends, the bike turns slower to give you more more confidence it's still really flickable I don't know you just seem to get more feeling anyway but Mr Flea is going to try and get his knee down in a bit I think the tyres make the make the bike look a lot bigger as well improve the look to the bike I think as you'll see so this noob has left his indicator on crackers is just talking away. With the enduro tyres, I think you'd, you suffer on top end a bit. It takes about somewhere between 5 to 10 mile an hour off the top end. Yeah, they feel, they feel really good. I'm well chuffed with them. I actually prefer them to the, the standard tyres that the bike comes with. But they actually do get quite a bit of heat in them as well, which is good. Makes them nice and sticky. I wonder if he's still talking. Yeah, so anyway, we're off to the desert and we're going to try that big hill, see if these tyres will get us up there. That's a good challenge for him, I think. What's he stopping for? I think he's finished talking to people now. Hey? Eh? <laughs> they look lovely. Right, shoe. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Just down this road is the secret location of the desert. Keep it wheels, home ground. Scrub these tyres in. So here we are, testing the Enduros. Enduro tyres. Being stood up on the bike with these Enduro tyres on. So much higher. I think they give a good couple of inch height to the bike. Yeah, I feel a lot higher than I normally do. So far, so good. Feeling all good. Coping with this quite well, to be okay. Cope without mint so far. Yeah. I didn't have nobblies on. I wouldn't know that I didn't have nobblies on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, they're coping with this. Fine. Bit of gravel, bit of mud. We'll try a bit of sand in a minute as well. Hey, hey, he nearly went. Alright, so this is going to be the first little test. Can we get up there? Lovely, lovely grip. Come on, no problem. Woohoo! Brilliant. Oh, sorted. Here we go. Go on, these tyres are so. Whoa! Made it. Bit 
to stand there. Look at this hill. Oh, she's gripping well. Come on, baby. Come on. Whoa. Come on. Yes. She's up. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, that's 2 0. 2 0. Off road now. Putting the new Enduro tyres through the test. This is what they actually look like. As you can see, nice chunky tyres. You've got a lot bigger profile here now, which raises the whole level of the bike. It actually looks like a, a monster truck on two wheels as such. But yeah, look, look what you've got. You've got real deep grooves, gives you excellent traction, especially on the sand. And we've had some uh, mud action as well. We've done a couple of small hills just to test them out and the end of those, no problem whatsoever. So we've got the actual big um, hill that we tried a, a couple of videos ago. So that's what we're sort of like gauging on the ultimate test. If they can make it up there, that's game on. And then the tyres do exactly what they say on the tin. So yeah, so far so good. Can they make it or not? that hill easily. Nice soft terrain here. Lovely. do not feel like the front end I'm going to lose it at all. Beautiful. Heading towards that hill now. It's a sort of like final test for these tyres. Totally impressed with them. Around the corner, I didn't know, I didn't know, I saw that, grabbed the front ample, and that was it. It was over. Uh. First spill of the day. Brilliant. I'm just raving how good these bloody tyres were, and the next thing it dumps me on the arse. Total schoolboy here and here. Off to try the big hill then. See if these bad boys can do it. Last time we were on this terrain, it was quite soft. It was all over the shop. We've had quite a few dry days now. Oh, you can just literally fly down here. Oh, it's all changed though, it looks like. Tried to block it off, look. No problem for these little bad boys. Here we go. We're at top of the hill now. now let's have a look. Oh, they've wrecked the hill! Whoa. That's it. Fuck, you know, we've got no chance. <laughs> Let's see. Wow, I can't believe the rest of it. Who's done that? Go on then, you can go first. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can see this on the GoPro, but that is one steep ass hill. Oh, my bike's still running. Brilliant. These are so tough, these little bikes. Another bloody schoolboy error. I didn't even touch the brake though. What the hell? Oh. Whoa. 
rocky, you know. That hill is the ultimate test for these tyres. I think you struggle with knobblies, don't you? I think you need a run up from like beyond them trees. <laughs> Nearly did it. You didn't have enough speed, it didn't look like. Here comes Chewy. Down. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Flea. Come on. Yes! <laughs> I knew he'd do it, the bastard. He did it! He did it! <laughs> We passed this set! Woo! Yeah. Uh, just a little persuader and it went up. <laughs> Brilliant. Conclusion, it made it, we had enough grip and enough power in the bike to make it up the second hill and it's a lot steeper, so yeah I guess the tyres are great, they're great all rounders, they definitely do what they say on the tin, you can do some off roading, you can do road riding and they give you a really good level of grip in dry and muddy conditions. Yeah, so my thoughts on these tyres is, I mean, if you're going to buy one of these bikes and you want to, you want to do a bit of off-roading and use it on road, and you don't want to piss about swapping tyres all the time, I definitely recommend buying. Oh, you fucker! Buying the Enduros with it instead of the Noblies. They perform well enough off-road, I think. It'd be nice to try it. A bit of off-roading in the wet see how, how they perform but definitely in the dry they're, they're absolutely brilliant I think the comparison all three tyres we've done off-roading with the, the standard tyres that the bike com, comes with and you can have fun off-road but they, they, they do restrict you a lot Noblies, well speak for themselves you can get anywhere with them Noblies on these bikes Yeah, get anywhere with the knobblers. And these are, you know, the best of both worlds. Oh, yeah, fuck. Best of both worlds with these tyres. I'd, I'd quite happily just keep these tyres on all the time now. <laughs> I'm chewing nearly down. <laughs> He's done! <laughs> you fucking tart. Get out of my way. <laughs> Oh, what do these tyres perform like on the road? Well, it definitely stables the bike up. Stability on the bike is a lot better. Steering feels like you've actually got a steering damper on, if that makes sense. Got a lot more feel on the front end now, especially under braking and tipping it in. It doesn't feel like you're going to ride off the edge of the tyre. The only downside is you lose about five to seven mile an hour off the top end speed. Which is 
a bad thing anyway. I mean, if nothing, it's not like your game, you're on the wrong bike. But no. So on the road, good grip, the tyres heat up nice and uh, quickly, giving you all the confidence you need. So it's a definite plus. I'll be keeping these tyres on over the actual standard ones, just because you've got best of both worlds. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's it from us guys, we'll catch you on the next video, and remember, keep it wheel.